gears we got? We only got four gears. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel for some new content to the channel. Wreckfest has made its way here on the Xbox One. And we're here to play some Wreckfest for today. A little Let's Play series on the Wreckfest game. We are going to be using the full Fanatech rig as long as it works. So we're going to make sure it should work, hopefully. Haven't really tested this yet. I probably should have tested that before we started. But we're going to be doing some Wreckfest today and do a full like basically let's play series here on Wreckfest, something to break the normality of forza but it's still racing we still got the wheel so it kind of stays true to the channel so we're gonna have some fun with it make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box below so let's just get to it and wreck some cars all right so we are just double checking to make sure everything is squared away with the wheel we do have the full fan take out at 900 degrees and we're testing we got our full gas Full brake and full clutch so we are good to go so we're going to save all of that and make sure hopefully our handbrake actually works so a would be look back if we need it gas brake clutch I wish I could I'm not sure if my handbrake is gonna work we're going to give it a shot and hopefully it does work. So I think we're just going to hop right into the beginning of this game in the career. Looks like we got challenge, eat dirt. Looks like we got a lawnmower race. We got a wreck fast born series, demolition racing, and we got some demolition derby, demolition racing. So we're just going to do some of this stuff. I think we're going to start with a normal race series rather than doing that. So we're going to be in the dirt. I believe the car we have is automatic in a sense because I didn't find any options to change anything we're gonna do realistic damage didn't find anything for basically changing for manual or anything like that I think we can change gear because we do have it in sequential mode so we can use that because it does shift automatically the handbrake does work it says we have a clutch but this car doesn't have a clutch so I'm assuming each cars are different depending on the car you're in so we're going to hope that's how it is. We'll find out more once we get into this game more. But we're going to get into our first race here in the dirt. Here on Wreckfest. Force feedback hopefully is not too strong. We may have to dial it back because we are on full 100% on our fan attack. And I believe we're at 70 or 80% in the game. Uh, kind of where it came from. So we're going to see how this works. Def definitely been super excited to play this game. If you guys want to keep seeing Wreckfest and a playthrough, let me know it in the comment section down below. Definitely going to be doing a lot of Wreckfest stuff here. Very To break the normality from Forza, going to be popping back on Forza, though, for ESDA prep on the offseason, SSR, and other competitions, as well as Horizon and some other games coming out here very soon. Load screens are killing me right now. I just want to drive. That's all I want to do. I just want to drive. But the load screen is killing me. Bit of a bit of a bother on the load screen, but we're about to load in. There we go. Midwest. Alright. First race here on Wreckfest, hopping right into it. Have not got a chance to even play this. So we're just gonna go right for it. Change the view a little bit. Looks like we got some different views. Like we're going to go in the furthest out view as we possibly can. Force feedback does feel pretty good. Oh, we're already losing bumpers. Ow, that feedback feels pretty strong, actually. Kind of ripping the handbrake a little bit. Doing pretty good so far. Jeez. The wheel almost got ripped out of my hand. Inside, excuse me. Oh, oh my. Almost drifting. Hard on the brake. Oh, turn more, turn more, turn more. That dude just bit in the tires as we almost bite in the tires as well. Oh, wreck fest. This is going to be so much fun to play. 
destruction at its best. Oh my. This wheel is rough. It's uh, pretty strong. We may have to dial back our feedback a little bit. Oh, oh my. Should have saw that coming. We're changing the view, get a little first person action going on. This is actually quite cool in first person for the racing aspect of it. Just trying to stay smooth and not wreck our car. I take the inside, excuse me, coming through. Tires, here we go. We are in first right now. Just ripping this track. Not sure what difficulty or anything is at, but we are just sending it pretty far ahead. So looks like we're gonna be able to take this win. Ooh, little handbrake rip. So this car can actually drift. Can't wait to get some more powerful cars in here. The wheel does feel pretty good and it's it's definitely fun to play. It does have a bit of a kind of arcade-ish feel, I guess you would say. I'm sure it would be a little more slip slidey in the dirt, but it does feel fun. This game probably much more fun on a wheel. No! No! I want to take the win. Come on, we gotta take the first first race win here. For our first let's play here on Wreckfest. And we're gonna take that. Get away. I'm gonna take that W. Thank you. First place win on our first race here at Wreckfest. That's lap 46 seconds. This game's fun. First impressions. This is a lot of fun. I feel like the force feedback needs to be tweaked a little bit. Event reward. Street intake manifold. Alright. So, first race, we took the win. We're here in the second race. These load screens are kind of what's getting me, but it is what it is. There's a lot of things that get loaded in. Damages, crash, destructibility, everything. So we are going to just load this in for the second race of our Wreckfest career. So I will catch you guys once we're on the line and ready to go. So we're going to test something on our wheel. We're going to go to forced feedback. We're going to put it on authentic instead of 100% and see if that makes a bit of a difference or if we pretty much lose force feedback. Oh, we have, oh, we have feedback. So the feedback feels much better on authentic instead of 100%. And Forza, I run it on 100% instead of authentic because the update kind of screwed with it a little bit. So now the wheel does feel oh, super light over the jumps. Excuse me. Oh, oh, hold on to that. Ooh. Oh, I didn't see that turn. We almost lost it. Take the inside. I should probably should have pulled the handbrake. Oh, man. All right, so we got a new rival, apparently. Crashing your rival to regain a bonus. We're going to smash into you, though. Excuse me. Coming through. Nope. Nope, you're going in the wall. Oh, he almost took me out. Oh, boy. Excuse me, breakfast. So much fun right now. Oh, getting sideways. We're drifting. We are in first. There we go. We may kick the. Oh, turn car. Somebody's hood. We may switch the feedback back up in the actual game. I did turn it down to 60 or 75 in the game from 80 because it was a lot. And then I realized I should put it on authentic. Got a little bit of damage to our car right now. Nothing major. Oh. All right. Wow. That guy was all up on my back bumper. But we got only 97%. We don't really have much damage. Seem to be ripping this car. Oh, as we almost died. Oh, was that my rival? Dude just died. He just biffed it. He tried taking me out and he died. He, our rival is in third. Brute force, that's a wall. Oh, wasn't paying attention. I was looking up at the screen. Oh, we just got wrecked ourselves. Hopefully we'll be able to maybe still take the win. A little bump from behind. Nope, you stay back there. You stay back there. Oh, oh. we took that win. 
Whew, almost completely wrecking ourselves out there. Brute Force is now a rival of ours. Continue. We should probably check and see what these bonuses are. It looks like we got a straight cutter. Straight cut fender now. The car is very, very damaged. Level 2, we unlocked an intake, so we're going to be tuning this car up very soon. So, definitely having a lot of fun with this. Force feedback feels great. So, what we're going to do is actually going to switch pavement track. Single heat. Three laps. Grid size 16. I didn't see what the bonus was. I should have looked. But Wreckfest, definitely not disappointing. I've seen when this was out on PC. It was a lot of fun. Now it's on console. Definitely a lot of fun. And uh, there's going to be a lot of Wreckfest content coming for you guys as well. Like I said, as well as Forza content and stuff like that. Maybe do some if you guys have Wreckfest and you guys want to do some online racing, let me know down in the comments because I'd be very interested in do some live, you know, online racing with some of you guys here on the channel and uh, wreck some cars. So we're gonna load up on grid. Once we get on grid, I will uh, send it back to you guys and we're gonna go race number three here at Fire Rock Raceway short course. So we are starting from the back. This one looks like it's a lot of pavement, so we're gonna be gripping as much as we can. Ah, here's where we do manual, manual with clutch. There we go, ABS off, traction control off, stability control off. Ah, yeah, there we go, that's what I wanted. So now we are gonna be racing this thing. Oh. We can adjust some stuff. We're going to leave everything how it is, but now we are going to be racing this thing. Hopefully full manual. Clutch in. Let's see if our actual H pattern works. We we have full H pattern now. And we have a clutch. So now we are in full tilt with this car and this game. Full H pattern and everything. Our shifter, clutch, everything works. Now shift that a second. Oh yeah, this is how we get the most power out of this car. For sure. This guy's gonna try and push me into the wall. No. There we go. Oh, I don't want to pause. I wanted to change to the one little closer view. Probably shouldn't have broke that hard. Actually, I like this outer view. How many gears we got? We only got four gears. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. But we are okay. Oh, we're getting bumped. We're getting bumped around. This wheel is bumping out of my hand, but we... Oh, my God. Oh, we're drifting. We are getting... Hunted around right now on this track. But now we are on no trash control, no ABS, no stability. So now the car actually slides. And we can lock everything up. We are up there now with the car difficulty. And there's it. There's that ABS lockup. But we're good. Ow. So, this is much harder now, but much more entertaining. Final lap, best lap. Zero hero. A little bit on my door. Oh, just a tap, just a clip. Oh, geez, that car's quick. There we go. On throttle. Gotta stay as quick as possible. Stay flat footed. Little clutch kick. We're good. Let's go. Ooh, drifting through there. Oh, no. No. Nobody. Not letting you by. Ooh. <laughs> that was definitely dirty to take that win, but we took the win. Took the win in the third race. We took first. I believe we took overall career win in that one because well we just won the races so i think that's gonna do it here for the first episode here on wreckfest more wreckfest content coming for you guys a little let's play through here gonna do some demo derby next time and stuff like that now that we figured out how to get everything working hope you guys enjoyed it 
So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.